again everyone and welcome back. So we have something new on the table here. This brand is called Proper Good. Now these are, um, I don't want to say like healthier rations, but I think they're trying to aim to be that way. A lot of these are like, you know, plant-based or use bone broth. So, you know, they're attempting to hit a lot of the kind of marketable buzzy type stuff that we see nowadays in, you know, things of this nature. Now, a couple of cool things. These are either, you can microwave these packages if you want, or you can dump them out and, you know, cook them like normal in a pot, uh, you know, out, in the, out on the trail, throw them in your pot. Uh, and that's pretty cool. That's nice. And we've had a couple of these type of, uh, you know, microwavable bags and so forth. I usually like to just dump them out in a pot if it's me personally. Um, but yeah, I, I saw these on a, I, I want to say it was an Instagram ad and I just thought, eh, well, that's kind of neat. I thought, let's try it. So this, I believe was a part of like a, like a multi-pack, like a tri-pack or something like that. And I will leave a link down below in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, it is kind of like an affiliate link, so I get a small kickback or whatever if you buy from the link. Don't have to, but it does support the channel. Um, so yeah, let's take a look here. So we've got three soups. We have Southwest Chili. 290 calories there in the pouch. Nutritional information if you're interested. Very small type. And in, here is our ingredients list. And this has plant-based crumbles in it. <laughs> Corn poblano, onions, tomatoes, black beans, pinto beans, red kidney beans, tomato paste. So it seems like it might be a good chili if it's seasoned, right? And, uh, you know, vegan. Next we have the red pepper and meatball. 320 calories, again, nutritional facts, and ingredients list, pretty simple there. And then we have our broccoli and cheddar. Be interested to see what a bone broth broccoli cheddar is like. 310 calories and a lot of fat, but cream, cream will do that. Ingredients list, chicken bone broth in this one. Yeah, heavy cream. So, we shall see. We shall see if the proper good winds up being properly good or not. So, I'm going to go ahead and prepare these on the stovetop. We'll come back and we'll see just how good they are. Alright, so our soup should be good to go here. Let's go ahead and start digging in. I think we'll start with the chili, I think. Um, very thick, very thick the chili. And I know that uh, some people like a nice thick chili. I, I usually thin my chili out a little bit. Trying to get a little bit of all the beans and we got corn in here, a lot of good stuff. It smells really good too. Ah, for Pete's sake, I'm losing all my beans. You know, it looks really nice. Smells, uh, you know, like, sort of like fire roasted tomatoes. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. That's really good. I will say that, you know, the veggie crumbles that are out today, you wouldn't even notice that they weren't meat. Mmm. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't think that that's missing anything. You get, you get the peppers, you get the smokiness, the tomato comes through, that kind of acidity there. All the beans, there's a ton of beans in there as well. Yeah, that's a very nice chili. Very nice. 
All right, let's move on to our red pepper and meatball. And this one is uh, you know, kind of thick, thick too. It's not a very soupy, soupy soup. Get one of our little meatballs on there. Smell, you definitely smell the pepper. Also, quite a bit of Italian seasoning. That's nice as well. Yeah, not a huge pepper taste in there, honestly. You do get a lot of the seasonings, um, pretty rich broth. Cream is in there. I almost kind of wish this had like sun-dried tomatoes in it. The meatballs don't have a lot of taste to them, if I'm just being honest. But they're not bad. I mean, they... they yeah, I mean, they're, they're good. They just don't have a lot of taste. And there is a, a tiny hint of spiciness to that. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of wish it had uh, had something smoky, like a smoky component or like a you know, sun-dried tomato. I think that'd be really nice in there too. All right, let's try our bro bro broccoli. <laughs> I can't, broccoli cheddar here. And uh, really doesn't have the you know, chunks of broccoli, it's very uh, like processed down. Hmm, okay. Um, let me try a little bit more. I want to be fair. It's definitely a lot of broccoli, which, you know, is good. I like broccoli. There's something missing from it, though. There is something missing here. I wonder what they thicken this with. Okay, um, looking down the ingredients. Hmm. I don't like the thickener. I don't know if it's the xanthan gum that they use to thicken this. I don't, I don't really care for, for it. There's something there's something kind of strange about the thickness of it. Um, like I said, there's just something on the back end that's kind of missing. Like it's missing some fat. Or maybe, maybe salt. I'm not, I'm not quite 100%. I'd have to really, I'd have to think on that a little bit. Um, and as far as being cheddar, broccoli cheddar, uh, I don't really taste much in the way of cheddar at all. Yeah, there's just something to that. I'm not, I'm not sure I like it. Um, best out of the three goes to the chili. The chili is the best out of the three here. I would say um, with a very minor tweak, this would be just as good as the chili. Uh, and the broccoli cheddar, hmm. yeah, the broccoli cheddar just doesn't quite hit the spot.
And you know what? There's too much garlic in it. Too much garlic. I personally don't add garlic to broccoli cheddar soup. Yeah, that's... You know what? That's the strange taste that I'm, I'm trying to distinguish. It's just... It's way too much garlic. Uh, way too much... Yeah. So, mix the garlic. Add some more cheddar. And I think you'd be okay. And maybe think about what you're thickening it with. Because there's... I'm not real happy with the thickness. But yeah. I think this, this chili, though, is a real winner, which is going to be great on trail. Nice, hearty chili. You wouldn't even notice that's vegan. Mm. Yeah, if you could impart the smokiness from here into this, I think this might be the top soup. It just needs, it's just missing one thing. And like I said, nix the garlic, more cheddar. Yeah. Not bad though. Very interesting stuff. Um, sometimes these can be hit or miss. And I also like the way they kind of go down. They don't like have this ultra processed feel to them either, which I really do appreciate. But in a pinch, I think any of these would do really well, um, especially out on trail. So yeah. Have any of you tried these? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, give me suggestions for future videos. Any comment helps. It helps the algorithm. And if you'd like to send anything to the channel to be reviewed, P.O. Box is in the description. If you'd like to support the channel, the Patreon link is in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.